Hey guys, Chip here. Uh, let's talk about creating multiple textures in Eevee materials or one shaded rule. And this is really for those of you that want to roll your own. So let's get started. Here's a concrete texture that I have. We see it's got the basic one shader to rule setup. And for those of you not familiar, we have the ability to adjust the color scale, roughness scale, and all of these things at one time. Here we have one, so you can see point two, something like that. So that's, that's what that does. We have the ability to adjust the color and tint it if we want. So I can just tint the color and mix it with the original texture as much as I want. We can adjust roughness, make it shinier, as well as the brightness and the contrast in the red roughness, which is sometimes desirable, especially for concrete textures. And we have just the ability to adjust bump. And all of this is done with only one texture map. There's also a hue saturation value node and an RGB curves node for the diffuse channel. So let's go ahead and get started. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this and, and change the name of this to Concrete Diffuse. And I'll go down and change the name of this one to Concrete Roughness. And the bump obviously will be called Concrete Bump. And now with that done, Let's go ahead and just duplicate this on the Y direction and we'll create a new object over here. This one's called CW Tiles Light and I'm going to rename that to Concrete and this one I'm going to call Stone. But if I rename this, it's going to rename both of these. So I'll click this little button right here that says two because we have two objects with the same material. I'll click here and I'll name this Stone and now we see we have each material is a unique material and each one is a unique name. So in the stone, let's go first into here and I'm going to notice that I have four instances of this concrete diffuse right here and I'm going to click this button four and make one. And I'm going to call this stone diffuse. And I'm going to do that for each of these. Hit the button and I'll call this one stone roughness and hit this button and call it stone bump. Now that we've got those renamed and they're now unique, I'll go in and tab on this node group and I'll come here and notice that this is already packed. So I can't change this texture till I unpack it. So I'm going to click just this top button and then I'll click this little folder icon and I'll jump right into my stone tiles. And let's take just any any tile. Let's do this one right here. And we'll put that in there. And you notice that we're see, still seeing the roughness and the bump in here. But uh, that's fine. And once I've done that, I'll, I'll tab out of this and go back to here. So I have the stone diffuse texture here. Now, with that said, let's go and adjust this just a little bit. Okay, and there we have these set up to a scale of 0.5, something like that. So now we can see what that looks like. Next, I'll run down to the roughness, because I want to adjust that. And you'll see that we have stone roughness. So I'm going to tab into here. And I'll go over to this concrete diffuse area. And I'll just change this to stone diffuse. And then I'll tab out of that. And if you get stuck in tabs, like you can get, you, you can go in here and then keep tabbing and you find out that you're kind of stuck. Just click on some other node and you'll come right back out. So. And then we'll go into the bump and we'll do the same thing. We'll come in here. There's our concrete diffuse. I'm going to change that to a stone diffuse and tab back out. And we'll zoom out to here. And now we can see that we have a very nice texture created for us with a new map and it's got a completely new material. So I can take this and apply it anywhere I want. So I'm over here at textures.com and if you create an account, you can download some things and they have some great seamless textures here. And I'm gonna show you this carpet texture and I can download for free this 1K version. So I'm gonna do that. And now I'm back in Blender. And so let's just assume that I wanna replace this texture here with a carpet. I can go through that same process, but if I know this is the only material I want in the scene, it's just really easy just to go into the stone material, go into the stone diffuse, 
tab into it and we'll just click this button and we'll find our file that we just downloaded and we will open that and it'll automatically apply now we're going to need to make some adjustments in particular we need to make this quite a bit rougher so we'll add a lot of roughness and a lot of brightness and that's going to give us a nice rough model and I probably want to also create a little bit more bump on it so we can get that and if I want also I can go back up here and I can start adjust dialing this back so I can get different colors and of course I can use saturation to boop bump that up that's a very quick way of creating a new material if you already have an existing material and you know you don't want to keep that existing material in your scene and if you go to gumroad.com chip walters you'll find all my products here here's the definitely ev materials product and it's got quite a few different materials it's got well over 100 materials that have been curated for you they're some of my favorite materials that i use every day uh, then you can come down and you can get this one shaded rule and it's free and it is basically the same node setup that we just previewed so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys online